channel 33 RPM. Today, cracking the seal on a 35-year-old copy of Led Zeppelin IV. Wish me luck, because I've had all sorts of problems with this stuff in the past. Be right back. Channel 33 RPM. Hi, my name is Frank and welcome to Sundays on Channel 33 RPM. As some of you may know, I have a small collection of still sealed vintage albums. I got them for a good price and I already have play copies of all those records, which is why I really haven't opened many of them. And the ones that I have opened, I've done with mixed results. Warping is sometimes an issue. Then there was that whole Hendrix debacle. The record had been sealed for 32 years, and so when I finally opened it, the gatefold had adhered to itself. I tried loosening it with a hairdryer, but that didn't work out so well. That's the kind of stuff that can happen when a record remains sealed for decades. Like the Hendrix record, the Zeppelin is also three plus decades old, and it's also a gatefold. Here's hoping things go better this time. Led Zeppelin IV was the band's fourth album produced by guitarist Jimmy Page. It was recorded between December 1970 and March 1971 at several locations, most prominently Headley Grange in the UK. The album contains classics like Black Dog, Rock and Roll, and of course, Stairway to Heaven. This particular copy is a Canadian pressing pressed sometime in the early 1980s. It has a hole punch here which indicates it was, a, it was a deleted item or it wasn't a discount bin, something along those lines. It's been sealed for 32, 33, 34 years. I think it's finally time we crack her open. Okay, I'm in the workroom on the workbench. Here's the album. As you can see, the shrink is pretty tight, but it's broken right there where the hole punch is. Let's break the seal. Okay, I have the uh, wrapping off. As you remember from that Hendrix video, the gatefold had stuck to itself. Let's see if this one opens. Ta-da, and it does. Pristine. Again, aside from the um, hole punch right there, looks fantastic. It's interesting. There's not even any uh, noticeable ring wear on this one. It makes me wonder what the uh, record looks like. Okay, we're pulling it out. Here is the inner sleeve. Let's take this record out. This has been in here since the early 1980s. It's very light. So this is obviously, as I said, an early 80s issue. This is pretty cool though. So this record, you know, even if it's from 82, 83, 84, um, it has never been opened before. And again, there's just a little bit of, um, you know, a couple particles on there, but otherwise it looks uh, really good. Let's go back in the next room and throw it on the turntable and see um, if this thing's warped or not. Okay, here we are in the music room. Here is that copy of Zeppelin IV. It's got some particles on there, but otherwise it looks just fantastic. I haven't cleaned it yet. First thing I want to do though, is just put it on the turntable and see what it looks like. Okay, there you go. I wanted to bring the camera down to get a side look at the record itself. And as you can see there, there's some minor warping, but nothing too terrible at all. I've seen far worse warping in some new releases that I've picked up recently. So overall, I'm actually pretty pleasantly surprised. I gotta tell you, I was nervous about today's episode. I did not know what to expect. What do you guys think? Sealed albums, do you have any of them? Should you keep them sealed? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Remember, if you enjoyed today's episode, leave a quick like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button so you never miss another episode again. Also, if you haven't visited my merch store yet, there is a link below this video. Please do check it out. Thank you for your ongoing support. Until next time, keep on spinning.